GOP Senator Susan Collins becoming the first Republican to announce she will support the nomination of Ketanji Brown Jackson to the U.S. Supreme Court. Let me read you her statement once again after she had a couple of meetings with Jackson. She said, after reviewing Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's extensive record, watching much of her hearing testimony and meeting with her twice in person, I have concluded that she possesses the experience, qualifications, and integrity to serve as an associate justice on the Supreme Court. I will therefore vote to confirm her to this position. So we want to get some perspective on this news from Susan Collins, the senator. Joining me now here is TPUSA contributor Stephen Davis, known as the MAGA Hulk, one of my favorite guests whenever I get to fill in for Steve. I always love to have the MAGA Hulk on. Mr. Davis, good to see you, my friend. It is always a pleasure, I must say. Thank you for having me. Hey, we're glad you're here. So this news that Senator Collins, Susan Collins, is going to support Ketanji Brown Jackson is making some headlines out there. The first Republican to say mm -hmm. she's going to vote to confirm. What are, what's your first reaction on this? Well, I mean, we don't need to be showing and showcasing bipartisan support when it comes to uh, the confirmation of uh, Ketanji Jackson. Um, I look at this as bending the knee, you know, and, and hoping that the left will somehow look at her favorably. Um, the left won't look at her favorably. They think that all uh, everybody on the right is racist. They think that we're all uh, bitter, bitter uh, immoral individuals who don't stand for racial justice and equality and diversity and all this sort of thing. So her standing up for uh, someone who's frankly unqualified. I mean, she talks about integrity, that she has integrity. No, she does not. A part of integrity is morals, right? And Kentaji Jackson, obviously, her moral compass is completely skewed because she's uh, beholden to radical leftist ideology to say that she doesn't even know what a woman is based on the fact that she's not a biologist. We can't have someone like that on the Supreme Court, who, who, which is the highest court of the land, someone for a lifetime appointment this is this is just a, a horrible uh, misrepresentation of what is supposed to be when it comes to the Supreme Court. So we had a bit of a debate in our newsroom this morning about this next question I'm going to pose to you. So do you think <clears> that <throat> by Senator Susan Collins saying she's going to vote to confirm Ketanji Brown Jackson, does that mean that Senator Jack, uh, Senator Collins, I should say, supports <clears throat> uh, the judge's positions on all the issues we heard her talking about? during the confirmation hearings. In essence, it does. In essence, it does. I mean, when you're supporting a person, you're supporting uh, that which they stand for. And she stands for, like I said, radical leftist ideology. She, she thinks that there's not a difference between a woman and a man in so much that the term is malleable, right? So that these definitions of man, these definitions of woman, there's no real definition. There's no clear-cut definition, especially when it comes to the left. So when it comes to her, she is beholden to this, uh, 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 you know, this candidate who can't even define what womanhood and who has a very bad record when it comes to sentencing pedophiles. So this is her idea of justice. This is Kentonji Jackson's idea of justice, which is not justice, especially when it comes to the rise of, of pedophilia in the United States of America. So I really think that Susan Collins needs to reevaluate who she's standing behind and getting behind as the first Republican uh, senator to do so, she needs to really reevaluate that um, in, in relation to her own uh, moral compass. You know, unless some Democrats deflect for some reason or another, they have the votes to confirm Ketanji Brown Jackson to the U.S. Supreme Court, regardless of what Republicans do. But I'm curious now that we've seen Senator Susan Collins say that she's going to vote for confirmation. Do you expect we may see some others in the GOP say the same thing? Yeah, we'll, we'll have some more squishes come out, the Mitt Romney's and, and, and uh, people of the like, um, who are very mealy mouthed, they're wishy-washy when it comes to standing up for the right side of history and standing up for morality. You better believe there's going to be uh, a few of those also that's going to stand in line with the Democrats. But it's up to the rest of us to, uh, first and foremost, locate these individuals and see who these individuals are and vote them out of office because they don't stand for uh, uh, the right side of history. They don't stand for Republican values and precepts. And we need people who are not going to be rhinos and people People who are going to stand for morality, stand for our children, stand for uh, uh, justice, actual justice when it comes to the right side of history. So uh, we will see some more, but uh, 
those are the very people that are going to out themselves and we need to vote them out. Okay. Well, one of my favorite guests here, TPUSA contributor Stephen Davis, the MAGA Hulk, weighing in with some great perspective as always. Sir, I'm happy I got to see you today and enjoy the rest of your day, all right? I surely shall. It's always a pleasure. Yes, sir. Okay.